welcome back. <sighs> the time has come. The time has come. I am finally going for my line indoctrination pairing tomorrow. It starts. And I thought I would take you through it. What the process is like to be able to fly back on the Q400. Just got back from getting some groceries, gonna do a little bit of meal prep. Thank you so much for all the love and support on my last video. You really, really liked it. I'm super pumped. I'm so glad I was able to take you through the simulator training. So now this is like part two of my return to work. So essentially me coming back from my layoff of not flying the aircraft for like almost a year and a half. So this is part two. So if you haven't watched part one, go ahead, go check it out first, and then you can watch this and see what the whole process is. I'm definitely excited. I am a little bit nervous and lots of feelings, lots of thoughts going through my mind. I am probably gonna cry tomorrow. Not gonna lie, probably gonna cry. <laughs> but yeah, let's do this. So before we get further into today's video, I just wanted to quickly share a word from today's sponsor. Skillshare is an online learning community with thousands of inspiring classes for creative and curious people. So the first course that I had done with Skillshare was on investing. So for this course, I wanted to do a course on productivity. And the course that I chose is called Productivity Masterclass, Create a Custom System That Works. And the reason that this course interested me is because I wanted to make the best of my time not to do more work but to work more effectively and efficiently so i can get back to doing the activities and the things that i love the first 1000 of my amazing subscribers that click on the link in the description below will get a one month free trial of skillshare so you can start exploring your creativity today thank you so much to skillshare for sponsoring today's video and now let's get back to it So yesterday was day one, the first time that I flew, the first time that I was going to be going back to the Q400, the first time that I've flown since April 2020. It is now just normal day-to-day -day operations. So that's what I am going through right now. I'm going through my line indoctrination. So day one yesterday, it's been really muggy and kind of gross in Calgary just with all the forest fires. And my captain who is doing my line in dock training offered me, you know, whether I wanted to fly the first leg or if I wanted to do the pilot monitoring duties. So if I wanted to do the radios and I was like, you know what, let's just get the flying out of the way. I wanted to like shake the rust off right away. Yeah, you can definitely tell it's been 16, 17 months that I haven't touched the aircraft. Um, you could definitely see that you're a little bit behind at times. Like you're not as like forward thinking just because you haven't been practicing for, for so many months. So I can definitely see, um, you know, some small errors here and there. Most of it's like coming back. Like I'm pretty excited actually for the first flight, the first landing into Fort St. John's, <laughs> Fort St. John in British Columbia. Um, we had some icing on the approach that we picked up and um, we had like a wet runway. There was one of the other runways was closed. So we had some, you know, some crosswind and some gusty conditions and the clouds, the base of the clouds was only about 200 feet above like the minimum altitude we can descend so I couldn't even see you know where we were coming down to until the very last minute which 
you know, it's kind of like what you're doing in The Sim, so that's not the issue. It's just more of like just getting him back into the swing of things. I'm like, okay, cool. Like, all right, I guess I'm sweating on this approach. Like, it's fine. But it ended up being uh, an okay landing. You know, the wet runway and the crosswind really helps with the Q400. And yeah, we just turned around and, and came back to Calgary and I did the radios and just kind of doing it again today. So now I'm starting to go over like certain topics that we need to cover through the line indoctrination. So it's like going over certain charts, going over like where your information can be found. Really happy to see some of my old coworkers interacting with them and just seeing the airport be so busy. The travel side of stuff is definitely picking back up, which is really, really encouraging. And it's really, really nice to see. So I'm really grateful to be able to be back into like the swing of things. On my first layover, we are in Grand Prairie. I know, I know, I know you're jealous. Gonna go hit the gym and Grand Perry, enjoy like the longer layover. It's pretty crappy today. That's it for day two and yeah, we'll see what else comes our way for the next two days. already of the pairing getting things swapped around as usual we were going to be heading to nanaimo next going over the rocks I was definitely looking forward to that but unfortunately we are now going to saskatoon instead um, but it's going pretty well we're getting like some imc approaches just because of the forest fires so it's like i'm right back into the sim so kind of familiar i would like to see the mountains though and some ground at some point but we'll see what happens. <laughs> that is it. That is the end of day four of my first pairing back. We are dealing with some crazy, crazy forest fires out in British Columbia and in Alberta. And unfortunately it is like, you cannot see. We basically shot um, IFR approaches the whole time. We were not visual. So yeah, we could not see anything. We actually had to shoot um, a cat two this morning. Uh, so my captain shot the cat two. Uh, so we have to do a monitored approach for that into Calgary because the visibility and the smoke was just so thick and like clouds, like the ceiling, like the smoke was so low. Um, but yeah, let me gather my thoughts and then I'll update you my final thoughts of how everything went, what we worked on, what we did. But for now, gotta get out of this monkey suit. Good morning. I took yesterday off after I finished my first pairing back to just unwind and decompress and just put my thoughts together as to like how the experience went. And I'm ready to share that with you. It really feels like nature is healing and it really is motivating and it's definitely a much more positive feeling that is just felt collectively. You see that people are excited to be traveling again. You see that people are obviously booking flights to you know see their families and there's a lot of pent up travel demand. Just hoping that this is starting to get felt you know in other places around the world. So the focus of line indoctrination is really a lot more procedural. It's a lot more seeking out information, knowing where to seek out information in terms of the operation of the company, in terms of obviously the aircraft handling, but it's a lot more procedural. So, you know, in the simulator, we typically go over the malfunctions and the emergencies like physically, whereas in the line indoctrination, it's more of the procedures dealing with those malfunctions and emergencies, but it's more so like the downstream effect or impact of what some of those procedures might entail. So just dealing, say, as an example, 
example, with like an unruly passenger, what that looks like. Or another example could be, say, you know, having to do a diversion for either weather or perhaps there is a passenger on board that needs medical assistance and we need to divert. So just what the process is like to go through those procedures and carrying in them out to their completion. So that's a bit more the focus of the line and dock. And then, of course, just physically flying the aircraft and just going through some of the different configurations and the different uh, types of approaches or landings that you can do. I'm super happy to see the progress between even like my landings. Um, you can tell like we're just not as used to the sensitivity of the power levers. So, you know, being more precise and just noticing the change from like day one versus day four in terms of the approach and the landing. And um, so I was just really happy with that progress. My radio calls for all of you who are always, you know, who are anxious or who don't like radio calls, just know that this entire pairing, I had to get ATC to repeat like every other clearance because my brain just couldn't absorb more than two pieces of information at once. So it's totally normal to screw up on the radio. It's really no big deal. For now, I just get to like re-enjoy the aircraft, have a little bit less responsibility, a little bit less um, pressure and stress because of course, once you're the captain and you're the PIC, everything falls under you. So for now, it's just getting back into the rhythm of things and getting back into the routine and like the workouts on layovers and hopefully getting to know new people and meet some, you know, see some old familiar faces as well. Next up will be my line check. And unfortunately, um, my line check is still in a little bit. So I figured that I would just kind of like ha share this, you know, the initial first pairing because it won't be until August that I'm doing the line check itself. This is totally just scheduling uh, related. I have no control over this. It's just kind of from the, the scheduling gods above us. I'm excited for the line check. I'm excited for my friends to be coming back to work as well. I guess it's true what they say that it's like riding a bicycle, except this bicycle has like 80 people and it's a really large aircraft. But overall, those are my thoughts with my initial pairing back from layoff. I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you so much for watching and thank you so much for the support. I will share with you how the line check goes in the next video. Please let me know if there's any questions that you want answered down below and I'll do my best to try to include them. Let me know what you think below. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.